Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about predator and prey animals. So to start us off, what do those words mean? Well, a predator animal is one of those animals that hunts its food. A prey animal is one of those animals that gets hunted for food. Okay, and both of these animals need to exist to keep the natural world in balance. Now, these animals are constantly evolving. That means changing. Predators, they are known for their speed, their stealth, their excellent camouflage, their excellent sense of hearing, sense of smell, sight. Okay, so you have to remember the prey animals, these animals that are being hunted, they need to evolve as well. So they're going to evolve to be quicker than the predator, camouflage better than the predator, hear better, smell better, see better, maybe even evolve to have horns or poison to protect themselves. So these predator animals, they need to evolve as well, okay, to be able to catch their food. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to survive. And an animal's sole purpose, or two purposes, are to survive and to reproduce. So by evolving, they're able to do this. Now to keep it simple today, most predators, they are carnivores, whereas most prey animals, they are herbivores. So carnivores, they eat meat. Herbivores, they eat the plants. Okay, so it helps us, you know, see which way round this is. So predators, carnivores, they're hunting the animals, and these prey animals, they are being hunted, they eat the plants. Okay, now I've got a really good poem that I like to use to be able to tell an animal is a predator or a prey, because you can do it just by looking at most animals. So my poem is, if my eyes are on the front, I like to hunt. If my eyes are on the side, I like to hide. Okay, and we're going to meet some animals now that do just that. So to start us off, we are going to meet our friend Boo. Now Boo is a Netherland dwarf rabbit. So she is one of the smallest breeds of rabbit um, that you can get. So she will not get any bigger than this. She is all grown up. She is nearly three years old now. Now, can we notice where her eyes are? If we're using that poem that I just told you, where are her eyes? They are on the side. So if they're on the side, what does she like to do? She likes to hide. So that means she is a prey animal. Now by her eyes being on the side of her head, it allows her to be able to see so much better because predators, they've got their eyes on the front. That means they can lock into their prey. They can stalk them, they can catch them. They can focus directly on their prey. But a rabbit's eyes being on the side and so big, allow her to see pretty much all the way around her. The only place a rabbit can't see, right in front of her nose. So that means she can see behind her. Excellent survival skill there. She is able, she doesn't have to move her head to be able to see behind her or in all different directions. She can, she, that is just her natural vision. So that is gonna help her to survive. These ears here, I mean, now, Netherland dwarf rabbits, they do have little ears, but naturally, if you imagine a wild rabbit, they would be great big ears, and they would be able to move independently to one another. So that means they move in different directions, allowing them to hear in different directions. Rabbits can actually hear things happening up to two miles away. That is incredible hearing. So let's think about this. If they don't see, a predator they are likely to hear a predator if they don't hear it they're likely to see it so rabbits have evolved to be able to survive look out for all of those dangerous animals now we've spoken about the eyes with that poem but there's also other ways that you can see predator and prey animals and how they've evolved to be able to survive now obviously rabbits do they need to hunt their dinner because we said they're herbivores what are they going to be eating a lot of in the wild grass how quickly does grass run? Not very at all. So they are not built for hunting, okay? So she has very different teeth to a predator. Now, I'm gonna show you a picture here of some predator, uh, well, some carnivore, omnivore, and herbivore teeth. Okay, so we'll have a quick look. Now, did you see that the herbivore's teeth, 
they were really big and round at the back they have great big molars and those are to grind down all of the vegetation all of those plants all of the grass the leaves that they are chewing okay they don't have those great big canine teeth that the um, carnivores need those predators need okay because she's not needing to grab hold of any grass and like hold it down before it runs away from her the grass isn't going anywhere she's quite lucky okay so that's another way that we can tell the difference between predator and prey animals so their eyes and their teeth so we're going to meet a predator animal now so the predator animal that we are going to meet is womble now womble is our ferret now let's have a little look at his eyes where are his eyes situated I think we can agree they are on the front of his face so by going by our poem if his eyes are on the front what does he like to do he likes to hunt so he is a predator animal now he will have if we remember back to that picture of the teeth he is going to have great big canine teeth those are those front um, very sharp teeth so he's able to grab hold of his prey and the prey will not be able to run away okay most predator animals they will also have sharp claws now can you see his feet <laughs> you're making it quite tricky so he has got these claws now normally a predator's claws will be used to grab hold of their prey okay so they're using their teeth and their claws to be able to hold them down so they don't run off because there's no point in them spending so much energy and so much time <laughs> and trying to find their food if they're just going to let it run away after they've caught it okay so most predators they will have those big long sharp claws a bit like a tiger's if you imagine a tiger's where are you going womble if you imagine a tiger's claws um so they are used to hold down their prey once they've caught them okay so looking at him he has got those eyes on the front, he's got his sharp claws, and he's got his sharp teeth. So he is a perfect predator. Okay, now also, ferrets, they are long and wiggly creatures. Okay, being this long and wiggly, that allows them to be able to hunt down underneath the ground. So they have evolved to be able to find the type of food that they need to eat. So he can tunnel underneath the ground, find all those rats, those mice, those rabbits, and be able to hunt them successfully. Okay, so for our next animal, we're gonna meet something a little bit different, okay? You have to now be detectives, okay, or scientists. Let's be scientists. You are gonna work out whether the next animal is a predator or prey animal, okay, you ready? So this is our friend, Sydney. Now, Sydney is an Australian tree frog. He would come from the Australian rainforests and he's actually called a white tree frog. Not named that because of the colour of his skin, you can tell, okay? Now, let me get him nice and close. I will get him in focus so you can look proper. There we go. So, first of all, we're gonna look at his eyes. So I'm gonna face him to the front and I'm gonna face him to the side. Hmm. Where do you think his eyes are? Let's have another look, right. So to the front and to the side. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, they look like they're on the side and facing forward. So that doesn't go with our poem at all, does it? But let's think about this. Okay, so what do frogs like to eat? Well, Sydney, he will eat things like caterpillars, worms, he'll eat flies, he'll eat butterflies, he'll eat moths, he'll eat spiders, he'll eat smaller frogs than him. So that must mean that because he's hunting, he's a predator animal. But then let's think what likes to eat him. Pretty much anything that's bigger than him. So birds, monkeys might eat him, bigger frogs might eat him, you know, lots of larger mammals, lots of other rept well, reptiles would eat him as well. So that means he's a prey animal as well. Okay, tricky. So let's think about what else do we talk about? Their teeth. Well, these guys, they haven't got impressive teeth at all. They haven't really got molars or those canine teeth that we looked at the picture of earlier. So that's a bit tricky because actually these guys, they just eat those bugs. So they don't need those teeth. And if Sydney were to bite my finger now, I wouldn't even feel it. So that's not going to help us either. What about then his claws? Let's have a closer look at... Okay, he doesn't have claws either. He's actually got little sucker pads on his toes that let him stick to leaves. 
so that's not going to help him catch his prey either yeah okay so frogs are a tricky one they don't conform to the rules that we spoke about earlier with our ferret or our rabbits okay but that just goes to show that not all animals are the same but to keep it easy that's why we use that poem that's why we can look at their teeth and we can look at their claws as well and those help us on our way to work out whether an animal is a predator or prey animal okay but there's always ones that just like to you know muck you about mess you about so you can't work it out <laughs> but that's when you've got to think about what might eat them and what they eat and that helps you work it out okay so to tell you a little bit more about Sydney he did a beautiful little move there you know it's as, as if he's anticipating what I'm going to tell you because right at the beginning of the video I told you about how animals evolved to survive okay to be able to catch their prey but also to stop being eaten by other animals so one of those things was camouflage. Now if I turn him around, what colour is Sydney? He is this beautiful green. And where did I say he lived? In the Australian rainforest. Now being called a tree frog, he lives in the trees. Okay, the trees are full of leafy green leaves. Okay, well obviously leafy green leaves. <laughs> so if he is stuck to one of those leaves, you are not going to be able to see him. He is fully camouflaged. He blends into that tree, so other animals are not going to see him. So that means predators are not going to see him, but also his prey items are not going to see him. So it works both ways for him. So he's pretty incredible. Now, just to tell you a little bit more about Frog, because he's beautifully sat on my hand right now. Can you see that little circle behind his eye? That is his ear. A little bit of a funny ear, looks a little bit different to us, but I just wanted to tell you that. <laughs> so let's have a little recap then on our predator and prey animals. So our predator animals are going to be those animals with their eyes on the front, sharp claws, sharp teeth. Whereas our prey animals, they're going to have eyes on the side. Okay, they're mostly going to be herbivores, so those plant eaters. So they're not going to have those sharp teeth. They're going to have those grinding teeth at the back. Okay, but remember, there's always going to be animals that try to trick us. Okay, keep us on our toes. Now, I am going to do a little quiz for you. I'm going to show you some pictures. See if you can guess whether they are a predator or prey animal. Let's go. So we've got a lion. Look at those eyes. Whereabouts are they? They're on the front, so he must like to hunt. And look at those teeth. So teeth and eyes are going to tell us that he is a predator. Now a guinea pig. Let's think what a guinea pig likes to eat. They like to eat plants. So they're not going to have those sharp teeth. And where are his eyes? They're on the side. So he is a prey animal. Now a wolf. Their eyes are on the front. They have got sharp teeth. So what are they going to be? A predator. Now we've got a horse. Now what do horses like to eat? They eat a lot of grass. And let's look at their eyes. They're on the side. So they're going to be a prey animal. Amazing job there, well done. Now I hope you have enjoyed meeting our animals today. Uh, the main reason for us doing these videos is to hopefully bring a little bit of joy to your day. I know at the moment things can get you down, um, but hopefully meeting and learning about a few animals has brought a smile to your face. And if it has, and if you have learned a little something today, please could we ask you to donate towards our animal care fund. As you probably know by now, our soul all source of income has come to an end as has a lot of other businesses but obviously we have still got our animals to care for so by you donating a couple of pounds can really really go so far in us you know caring for our animals we have also set up a few new things um, in the last week so a wonderful little business called Amy's Pet Supplies they have set up an amazing page dedicated to Animal Workshops Mobile Zoo where if you would like to you can buy a little gift for our animals there's food there's treats and there's also toys which are so important at this time because people don't realize it but our animals do actually love going out to meet people um, so they're getting a little bit bored as well being in the isolation so to help them 
you know, not get bored from not seeing people, you can buy them a toy. So there's loads to choose from um, on there. Also, you can now sponsor one of our animals. So if you've watched one of the videos and you've fallen in love with someone specific, pop us an email, um, pop us a message on here, and you can sponsor, for just £20, you can sponsor one of our animals. You will get a certificate um, and a personalised video message uh, of the animal as well. So for more information, you can find it in the pinned post at the top of our page, or pop a comment, pop us a message, and we can give you all the information that you need. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you again on Thursday. Have a lovely day. Bye.